Hey y'all, what's up? So I know the day we all been waiting for is finally, finally here. The name and nursery reveal for baby B. Okay, y'all will finally get to see her name today. Y'all finally get to see her finished nursery. Um, of course, there's still some things I'll be adding. This whole coronavirus just like stopped me in my tracks from like being able to go shopping and like really get everything I wanted to get. So it's not like, you know, all the way complete. Once the world open back up, I am definitely gonna be still doing like a little bit of more shopping or whatever but for now this is like my dream nursery I've never like went all out for a nursery never like really designed a room so I'm just so excited I'm so proud of myself y'all I'm so proud of my baby's nursery that I did all by myself so I finally get to share it with you guys I finally get to share her name you can finally say her name so y'all let's get it let's get into it right behind this door we all about to figure out this little girl name so y'all her name is zara b and it's so funny because i've been giving y'all name hint okay but i actually been giving y'all the real name <laughs> uh her middle name is actually b is really like a little b so that's actually really her name um i don't think anybody would have really guessed zara but zara actually has a few different meanings in like different languages and stuff but um one of the meanings is flower one is princess and one is star so i just really love how her name goes together it's like you know flower b or princess b it's just it's just so beautiful. I don't know how we came up with Zara. Well, I actually came up with Zara. It was just finally a name we both agreed on. Like, we just couldn't agree on a name. If it was up to me, her name would be Isla B because I am in love with the name Isla. Like, I-Y-L-A or I-L-A. I'm in love with the name Isla. I was trying to press for that name for months, but her daddy was just not feeling the name. So I came up with Zara, not from the clothing store. I know everybody probably gonna ask that. Not from the store, but just because I love the name. Like I just was like, Zara, like that is so pretty. I'm thinking a short, cute name. So I just came up with Zara and that was something that we agreed on and that we fell in love with and we just kept saying the boys always say it's Zawa. It's just so cute. So Zara B is her name. I am so in love with her name. Like it was just so beautiful. I'll probably call her B most of the time honestly that could have been her first name because i'm in love with the name b like this is my little b like my little b you know what i'm saying so yes that is why i've been calling her little baby b because she is really literally little baby b okay <laughs> and it's just so funny that people was trying to guess around the name b but it's like i was really like literally giving y'all the name so yes i'm so excited y'all finally know her name we can finally all say it okay little zara little b and as y'all can see um the flowers like her name means flower so i went with like a flower theme in here it's just like flowery and just so girly and pink so i'm gonna go ahead and start with this portion of the room of course the crib and everything is the focal point of the room so i decided to go with this 
floral like uh sticker more merle or whatever you call it i got this off of amazon girl it was super cheap like 30 dollars i got her name sign from an etsy shop y'all this sign is so such good quality like i love this sign so much i'll go ahead and link their shop down below like and they got it to me super quick girl love 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 this name sign i didn't expect it to be this great of quality this big like it's just beautiful i got her crib from target Ooh. Ooh, y'all. Hold on now. I am nine months. <laughs> she can come any day. And I've been feeling all the feels, all the contractions. Probably like in some days, like for real, for real. But anyway. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Anyway, I got her crib from Target. I'm in love with this. I wanted her room to be like white and natural wood or whatever. So I just wanted like a basic, like square type of crib and I got it and it just goes with this room so good. So next stop is the changing table, dresser area or whatever. Um, dresser from Target is the same, you know, set as the crib. Comes with this little changing base that you can take off. That way, you know, this dresser can follow her when she gets older and everything like that. You can keep it and it's not just a changing table, which I love. And then I have just a changing pad up here with this beautiful flower print. Um, changing pad cover or whatever we got some beautiful stuff for the baby shower like everything was beautiful for the baby shower so appreciative and so one of y'all hooked us up okay with the whole flower print changing pad cover and i just love it because it goes with the theme of course and then i got this picture from marshall's i think or girl one of them stores i think it was marshall's before like I said, before the world closed down on us, I was able to pick up like a few things from the stores before the craziness happened. And I think I also got this from Marshalls. It's just a cute little, I don't know, I just was like, oh, flowers, pink, <laughs> yes. So I went ahead and just picked it up. I don't really know what it's supposed to be for, but I was like, it's gonna look cute somewhere and I made it work somewhere. And I thought this was a great place to put this because when I'm changing her diaper, like, you know, she could be laying right here and then she could look up at the flowers and have something to try to like touch and play with. So I thought that was a great little addition to add above her changing table. And yes, I just, I love this area. I, like I said, never had a changing table before. So I'm just gonna enjoy not like being on the floor or bending over in the crib or being on the bed. Like we actually have a spot to change the baby and I'm just like, I'm so geeked up about it. <laughs> so I'm gonna show y'all her dresser and just how I got everything organized. So I got her hats, little newborn hands. Oh my goodness. Y'all, these little newborn hats, I cannot. I got her bibs back here, um, burp cloths right here. She got so many burp cloths, which I'm so appreciative of. I got all her little, um, what are these called? Receiving blankets, or uh, whatever, swaddle blankets, I don't know. <laughs> and then I got all her socks just right there. And then second drawer, I just got her onesies and her pants. You know, newborn all the way up to, I think that's three, six months. I just kind of got it organized that way. And then, you know, as she grows, we'll be switching out adding in new sizes and all that fun stuff. Then the last drawer here, I just have her pajamas, her little pants, her gowns, her sleepers. That is the pajama drawer. And then over here, y'all, I'm so excited about this diaper pill, diaper genie. This is the Playtex um, diaper genie and I love it because it is a foot girl, yes! It is the, um, the step one or whatever. The last one we had, for Alexander and Isaac, you had to like touch it and twist and all of that. But this one, you just open, throw it in, close it. Boom, that's it, love it. <laughs> so next we have this little station over here. I don't really know what to call it. Dress a diaper station, uh, uh, extra storage station. It's just a little bit of everything station. But I'm so in love with this little picture board. I got this from Marshalls as well. I got like everything from Marshalls. Like when I was able to go to the store, all the little decor pieces and stuff, I got it from Marshalls. So I just hung up her little ultrasound pictures and of course I'll be adding pictures of her like when she come out and stuff like that. You know, for her little pictures up there or whatever, little memories of her. Down here we have like the diaper station, um, super blessed. Somebody gifted us the diaper caddy thingy or whatever. And I'm so excited to have this because I've never had like a white warmer. So we got a white warmer. It's gonna make it so easy to change diapers and I just I love this little caddy over here and then she needed like a little bit of extra space because this girl got a lot of stuff okay knew everything wasn't gonna fit like in the dresser so I wanted to have like an extra little 
cubicle thing. So I just got this from Target. It was like maybe $30. I got the little crates for like $19.99. And so here I just keep, um, these are like photo blankets or whatever, uh, swaddle blankets. Blankets all up in here. Down here, I have all of her sheets, y'all. Let me, let me tell y'all something real quick, okay? Because I done learned the thing of three about folding up some little sheets, okay? The little uh, fitted sheets. So when you buy sheets, well, it's like a certain brand. I think it's called Cloud something from Target. It comes in this packaging where it's um, like basically strapped with this little Velcro thing thing right there. I was throwing them away and then I was like, you know what, wait a minute. I could use that for something. So, I, girl, I end up keeping all of these little strappy things and I just like fold up the sheet and wrap it in this thing. And y'all look at this organization. Look at that organization. So I got all the fitted sheets up in here like nice and neat and organized. And I also kept some of the bags. I ended up throwing away like half of them until I realized I needed to keep these for sheets. Y'all know how sheet sets come in the little um, packaging or whatever. I'm like, that's a great idea just to keep that. And it keeps everything just nice and neat. I also have like the little changing pad covers in there or whatever, just, you know, extra storage. Over here is like one of my favorite areas. I actually just got done with this last night. But y'all, I got this little hanging shelf from Amazon and I just, love it like I didn't know what it was gonna be for I just knew I needed a shelf I'm like I don't know what I need a shelf for but I just need a shelf and I just found the perfect one like I, like you know matches the whole wooden theme or whatever and I was like you know what this is perfect for books so I got like her little book collection starting out down here um some flowers I got these a while ago from the Dollar Tree and I actually got them from my beauty room but I was like you know what these belong to Zara now because She's flower girl, okay? Everything flower is just belongs to her. So I put like the little flowers up there. I thought that was super cute. Then I had that little plant up there. I got that from Target a while ago. And I just put it to use up there with the whole, you know, greenery, flowery theme up in here. And then I have this little light thing. I got this. I think I got this from Target too. It's just like a little, um, what do they call these? Light string or whatever. And I just thought that would be cute to add some umph over here in this little area. And I just thought it was so cool, you know what I'm saying? Grab a book, sit in a little rocket chair, like, yes. I also got this chair from Target. I love it, like it's just so modern, it's so cute, you know what I'm saying? Pink, I had to go with the pink, and it's nice and soft. I don't know what material is, it's velvet, or like, I don't know, but it's just nice and soft. Comes with the little pillow, and I just put like a little, you know, blanket over here, and we'll definitely have a lot of nights and stuff in this rocking chair. I just can't wait to have Zara out here in my arms, rocking her in this little chair. Like, uh, I just love it. Love this little space. You know, I could grab a book or whatever. This is just like a dream. All right, next we're gonna walk into her closet. Closet is a little bit hectic, okay? Because y'all blessed us. Like, oh my goodness. We have so many diapers so many diapers like we sat for some months i end up finding wipes online and a couple in the store it was really hard trying to find this stuff because people was acting full buying up everything but here's just some more stuff we haven't opened from the baby shower like just ugh, girl bless 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 so thankful here's her clothes i love these organizers we also got these from the baby shower i love these little clothes organizers it goes from newborn three months six months nine months 12 months it also came with a couple other ones for when she gets bigger but i just love this it keeps everything nice and neat you ain't gotta look at tags because you already got everything you know what i'm saying hung up with the organizer so i just love those so much up here we have these little things got these baskets from target and one basket all her headbands all her little bows super cute and then in this basket, we got all her little shoes. Oh, little mama shoes. So that's that. And then we got her laundry basket here, right underneath her clothes. Over here, we got a few more things that we still gotta open up that came after the baby shower, all up and through there. A few things I had to take back because I accidentally put devils on the registry. So that's, that's all of that madness. But, but yeah, that's her cute little closet for now, of course. It gotta be organized some more, but I love it. It works. It's a nice amount of space in here. And now we're gonna head to 
the bathroom yes lemons b got her own little bathroom just a simple basic bathroom but i just want to show y'all um you know how i got everything organized in here so all her little bath time stuff all her um brushes little washes and stuff i'm just keeping in this basket little wash basket gift set keep right there i also wanted to show y'all this over the door hanger i used this for the boys at our last house but i didn't need it this time for them so i'm like you know what i can definitely put this to use somewhere else so that's what i did i got all her hooded towels just rolled up in here and then all her um face towels i just put them back girl i'll be using these little gift bags or whatever one of the bath towels actually came in this and i just kept it and put all her towels up in there so everything can stay nice and neat got some more over here and the little <laughs> the little velcro things i kept little unicorn towel i actually think i'm gonna keep this on the sink because that's just so cute so yeah, this is her bathroom, super cute. I just wanted to go ahead and show y'all this rug. I got this from Overstock. Y'all, it is so soft, it's so comfortable. I love it. At first I thought it was like too much pink, but it actually goes so, so, so well. Like I just ugh, love this rug. I got this ottoman from Marshalls and I got this little um, wooden and white baby gem from where should i get this from amazon y'all y'all so that is it that is miss zara b's nursery tour and name reveal i know y'all been waiting i've been waiting too okay i'm so glad that i finally got this video done i'm so glad that i finally got this nursery done okay like it's such a relief to just have everything completed and just really like counting down the days until little miss b graces us with her presence please pray for a safe delivery she is definitely coming any day and we'll finally be able to see her in her nursery and everything so i'm just so excited i'm so happy i'm so blessed thank y'all once again for watching this video make sure you thumbs up comment down below what's your favorite part of the nursery and yeah hopefully next time y'all see me y'all gonna see this belly y'all gonna see the baby